So here we're looking at um, the CRZ lithium car on the bench preliminary setup or idea. So I've got the lithium car uh, wiring diagram here for all the IMA stuff. Uh, and I've acquired, now this is a nickel metal hydride car um, dash cluster, but it doesn't matter really that much. That should still display all the relevant information that I'm interested in. We've got a lithium car ECM here. We've got a lithium car BCM stroke MEM, and we've got the four uh, BMS uh, CAN modules. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna assemble all this, wire these up, and then allow my HDS to plug into this and it should then talk to the car so this should appear to the HDS as a complete car uh, Obviously there'll be lots of modules missing, but it should allow the HDS to talk to these modules uh, And then what we should be able to do is with um, with the uh, BMS boards here is We should be able to put known bad ones in here and look at and see what the data the HDS is giving And then we should be able to find that data in the uh, data stream the HDS sends out and then I should be able to incorporate that into my OBD2 CNC device. So if we build a lithium car that can work on the bench, basically it allows a lot more comfortable research and I don't have to keep going out to the lithium car on my drive and fiddling around with it. So developing the gadgets like the manual control and the OBD2 CNC allows us a lot more flexibility i can sit there and uh, try different uh, data and different devices etc and watch what the hds and the um, signals are doing and it also allows us to intercept the signals coming backwards and forwards from the hds uh, so that we can actually fake data back to the HDS. Uh, so it thinks it's talking to the car and it thinks it's looking at whatever it might be looking at, but we can fake data back and we can then observe what the HDS does with that data to work out where in the memory that uh, data is and the values that the HDS expects and the values it then displays on screen. So we can sort of reverse engineer basically uh, what we want to so that we can use those functions in our OBD2 CNC. So that's where we are at the minute basically looking at building a lithium CRZ uh, on the car, uh, on the bench, and it won't take too much. We've already got a nickel metal hydride one, which you've seen before, and this, and I've also got an Insight one here, which is rather more complicated it's over here. This is has more uh, parts to it, more analog, and uh, so that's where we are at the minute. So this will be the lithium CRZ on the bench.